Hello everyone. Today we're going to dive into the flexibility that you have with Shopify to create different um, data structures or content structures. So imagine that you have a bookstore. I created a little demo store or a dev store um, that is a bookstore. And you want to create the notion of having books, which are products, obviously, which is included into Shopify. But you also want to include the notion of having authors and, for example, events that those authors organize. You in Shopify native, you obviously don't have the concept of an author, right? And you also don't have the uh, concept of an event. Um, and so now with meta fields and meta objects, you can actually create whatever kind of object that you need in Shopify. Plus with meta objects, you can actually create pages based on those meta objects. So very concretely, again, imagine the idea around the bookstore. You can actually create pages around all of the authors and you actually from the backend of Shopify create what the concept of an author means. So obviously an author has a name, an author has an image, an author has social links, for example, Instagram or LinkedIn, etc. It also has books that they produced and they also have events. So you can create this model, this content model, this data model from Shopify itself. And you have the flexibility to create how that model should look again, without needing to use code uh, or code. Um, and you can actually tie those different meta objects and weave them into each other so that an author is also linked to events and events are also linked to authors. And you can include that in the data model that you can structure your sh yourself in Shopify. So basically what I'm saying is, um, if you have a Shopify store, you have complete flexibility around which types of content you want to create and around which types of content you want to create pages, which is an extreme, um, yeah, nice flexibility that you have, um, while creating your website, basically. So let's dive into it. I'll first show um, the end result, basically. Um, so again, this is a, a store about books. So if you go to the products, obviously this is included into Shopify. You have a beautiful collection page. This is all based on the Dawn team, basically. Those are all AI generated books, by the way. Um, so you basically have the concept of you sell books. So a product, a book is a product in the back end, right? Um, and you have collection pages that show you all of those books because a collection page is also um, a concept that Shopify already has out of the box, obviously. But imagine that you also want to create such an overview page for authors, because maybe people, they want to search on the authors that they want to read something about. Um, so again, then this concept is not included in Shopify. So what you could do is you could create a page and really add like blocks um, and then say, okay, I create uh, an image or I add the content basically to this specific page. Um, and I say, um, this is an image of this author. This is an image of this author. Um, and that that content lives on that page itself, but that that content is not reusable and is not part of the content structure in Shopify. Um, so what we did, and I'll show you back again uh, later in the back end, is we actually created a collection type um, of a uh, page. Um, based on all of the um, authors that you have added to the backend. And again, this is based upon a um, yeah, custom or a um, data structure that we created ourselves without using code. Additionally, super cool. We created then a page again without using code um, that shows all of those authors, authors, which is easy. And then we actually also created, this has some custom uh, code to it, um, filters, for those um, new type of collection pages for those author pages. Um, so this is just super cool that you can again create a different kind of concept that Shopify doesn't know, um, in this case authors, and you can actually create a whole setup where you can actually also have a filter block um, based on that um, yeah, custom data structure, in this case authors, which is quite cool. 
Another thing is that you can have events. So actually we made this again um, based on the meta objects. So all of the uh, events have certain data structures. They obviously have an image. They have a description of what the event is about and you can create all of this um, from the backend in Shopify without using code. Um, and again, here we also added a filter block so you can filter out uh, events based on certain filters that you want um, to um, go for. Um, so for example, you can filter for all the English events, um, for example. Um, so let's dive into how this exactly works. Um, so let's start with uh, the beginning. I'm just gonna move this for a while. Um, you go to content, you go to meta objects, and here you actually see a whole list of meta objects that we created. So let's just dive into uh, how the author looks. So again, we can create um, um, whatever we want in terms of type of uh, object. So we called it an author. Uh, it doesn't have a description at this point in time. And then you can add fields to it. So again, you're actually building um, so a product is also such a um, object, but that was built by Shopify already. And again, a product, maybe this is a good start. How is this built? It's built around different fields, basically. Um, a product has a, um, I'm just going to click into one. It has a title, it has a description, which is a field that you can add text to and images. It has media, it has a category, it has a price, etc. Um, and this is exactly what Shopify now lets you decide yourself um, with meta objects. So you basically also create something like this that you define yourself. Um, and again, this is super handy if you have concepts such as authors that Shopify doesn't know about. Before you couldn't create this because you couldn't create a data model yourself. But now that is possible. Um, and again, now that you saw how it's done for a product, it's interesting to see that we can just create this ourselves. So again, just like I went over the fact that a product had a title, a product had an image, a product had a description, you can actually build your own model um, around the concepts that you specifically have as a store around an author. So again, an author has a name, an author has a link, an author has an image, videos, social links, uh, books, um, which is linked to um, a product in this case, because the books are products. Uh, events, which is also a meta object. So you create two meta objects and you actually link them together, etc, etc, etc. So again, a full custom data structure that you can choose yourself. Um, same for the events, just going to show it for the sake of um, completeness. So you just have um, the concept of an event. Um, and you also define which kind of fields you need um, for an event to be an event. Um, for example, it's paid or non-paid, um, it has a venue, it has a date on which the event really needs to uh, take place or will take place. So for example, this one is then a date field so that if you then go to the entry, which is this overview, you can actually see um, that it asks you those uh, inputs because you said that those fields uh, conceptualized the uh, event. You then need to obviously create events and you thus need to fill in, fill in the fields to create an event. And an event has a title, it has a date. Um, so basically what you're doing here, again, similar to what I showed you before, is you're creating a concept just like Shopify already provided you with products. You can create whatever type of con concept that you want um, and you can select the fields that you need yourself, which is, yeah, extremely nice in terms of flexibility, uh, what you can do. Then a very important other thing is that you can actually um, say that a uh, meta object, and I'll try to show it right away, add definition. You can actually say that you create web pages from a um, meta object. So again, this is just to make sure that for example, an author um, if you do then an entry for an author, that this author right out of the box has a page specific for this author. So just let me just show you what I mean. So by enabling um, this, enable online store, publish entry as a web page, you make sure that automatically you um, create a page 
or that a page is created around this. And again, you can see this here. It's a pages slash author. And this is because all authors will be created a page for. Um, and then you have the specific um, URL of this specific author. So by doing this, you actually uh, make sure that Shopify understands that you want to create a page around the concept that you created yourself. Um, and then obviously you can um, build that page from the online store. And I will show you this shortly, um, which means, and this is quite big, that you can actually create the front end as you wish based on um, content structures that you can create as you wish as well. Um, so basically the concept of an author didn't exist. And now I'm creating a scalable way to create pages around authors and I created the concept of an author myself without code and I'm creating pages for all of those authors um, also without using code. Um, so basically this gives you full flexibility because you can create concepts yourself that you um, thought about and you can create the pages um, perfectly as you want uh, yourself as well based on the blocks of course that are um, or the sections that are part of your theme. Um, so I think I'll keep it here more or less in terms of concepts because I think a lot of things might be new. Um, but I just uh, wanted to show you real quick how this then looks because yeah, we actually told Shopify that pages needed to be created. So what does this mean? Is that from the moment you clicked on uh, this uh, toggle, um, then the concept that you are creating here actually will generate a, um, yeah, additional um, list item to your um, concept here because you said I want to create pages around authors. So then obviously um, authors should be a possibility to build a template for because you actually said to Shopify that you're going to create a page around it. Um, so basically the author concept that you created yourself needs to have um, or needs to be in this list because you want to be able to create a front end for that author. And so what we actually did is then we created a template around this. It's quite easy. Um, you just have an image, uh, you have rich text, etc., and you include it. And this is important. You basically link it to a meta field. Um, and that meta field is then part of the meta object that you created. So basically you can just um, say that there is a dynamic input for the image and for the name of the author. And that is linked to the meta object that you created and it's automatically filled in to all of those pages that are created around an author. So basically you just say here what you want to show for this author. This is normally mapped on all of the information that you have on this author. And obviously all of the information that you want to show is mapped on the meta object that you created yourself because an author needs to have an image. Um, it needs to have a name. It needs to have a small description. Uh, needs to have books, etc. And then um, all of those pages are created and all of this content is fed into uh, this template that you create from the back end. So again, basically what you have here is that you create your object yourself and you create a front end around it yourself as well, um, which is quite exciting. Um, so here you see, for example, that all of the um, rich text, so the descriptions basically, oops, this was wrong, are then linked to a specific meta object. And those are then linked to the long description that you have added to the meta object author. Um, so here you can select all of the values that are long text or, or that are multi-line text basically in the objects that you have created yourself. And dynamic input connect to dynamic source is actually um, done here basically. So you can choose from all of the um, stuff that you have added yourself to the meta, meta object author. Here you can select, maybe you want another meta object um, and then you can select the fields that are part of your meta object that um, are, because you can never add an image, for example, right in a text field. So you will not be able to select the image fields that you have created on the meta object to add to the description because the description is coded in such a way that you want to show text basically, right? So here you will have all of the um, options that are of the type text because this part of your section also wants text as an input. 
So this way it's all beautifully connected to each other, uh, which gives you full flexibility. Um, and then maybe another interesting thing to just show what we then initially did to also create um, the, um, the lists. So basically what I showed you here, so the collection pages of authors, this is also super interesting. So what we then did is we created a meta object, which is um, lists of authors normally, yes. And what you did here is if you go to define definition, it's actually linked to the author's meta object. Um, and so in this way, and again, this is also created a page around this because you can see the page. Um, you actually say that um, yeah, it has certain fields as well. Um, and then you connect those fields with the fields of the meta object author. Um, so you can, you can basically reference a meta object field within another meta object field, which gives you, which gives you basically infinite um, possibilities. And then we also created a front end for this. So just as you want a um, front end for the author itself, you have a, um, a, a template for the collection page of the author, which is again defined actually in just a list of um, yeah, multi-column. And you actually, and this is super cool, you just link it to authors and if you add authors in the back end, it's automatically updated and it's automatically added to this collection page. So if a new author is added in the back end, you don't have to go to this page to also add that author to the overview page because this is connected to all of the authors. So from the moment in the back end, an additional author is created, um, this will be automatically added to this overview page, which is quite insane as well. And then the filters, they are based on certain um, tags and stuff that we give certain authors um, so that you can create this um, filter block um, on top of the authors, which actually is then full circle um, because you can see all of the authors, you can filter on them um, to make sure that you see the most relevant authors uh, to you. So this is what I wanted to explain. Again, what this shows is that Shopify is very, very powerful in terms of being able to create your own um, data models and also create all of the front ends based on those custom data models without any code that has to be written, uh, anything but the filter field, um, which gives you ultimate power and freedom as a merchant to create the experiences that you wanna build for your customers to be relevant. So I will stop it here. Um, and obviously you're always welcome to ask any questions. Uh, we love to build out this stuff and talk about this. So please let us know if you have any questions. Cheers and good luck, bye-bye.